Hi guys and welcome to another taste test with Tim. Do you recognize this box? Yes, that's right. We're doing a taste test from Uncle Brian from the UK. Let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. Shame Tim's not in this video. She would have loved this. Heaps of savory snacks. Look at that. Gummo, you said you put my chair down for me. I what's I, this? I thought I did. Look like a little gargoyle up here. <laughs> like a troll. <laughs> Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hi everybody. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. You can tell us Uncle Brian's by the box. I'm hung up with these boxes. Have oh, to no. find out. And there was an answer in the comments. Did you read the comments? No. Do you ever read the comments? No. Oh, <gasps> you don't? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought you'd like savoury. Hello, Tab and Tim. Hope you're both good. Here's some more treats for you to try at UB. Thanks, Brian. Look at this. Meals for Timmy to make. Pepper beef casserole. Chicken, bacon and potato pie. Ooh, that sounds all right. And a paella. So let's do a UK taster. Two different things from Morrison's. So let's try these ones first. Look at this one here. Jalapeno dirty fries. Ridge crut. Okay. Ridge crut. Ridge crut. 100% Ridge cut. Yeah. Ridge cut. <laughs> big on flavour, big on crunch. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, I can yeah, smell right. the jalapeno already. So you can see that beautiful crinkle cut kick, kick, kick there. Dirty fries, babes. Mm, oh, yeah. You're getting some heat from these. Oh, they're a bit like. Pow! I like them. Nice and crunchy. Very nice. I'm trying to pick up the flavour I'm getting. I can't look it out. Jalapeno. It is a jalapeno, isn't it? it? Tastes very fresh. Does it taste dirty? Comment below if you know why they're called dirty fries. Maybe because they don't wash the potatoes, they just whack them straight in. No. Maybe they keep the skin on? Very firm, crisp. Yeah. It's got a nice crunch. The heat is just perfect on it, if you ask me. And you can really taste the jalapeno flavour. It's really distinct. I mean, it's not only hot, but you can almost taste the the pickledness of the jalapeno. You know how they pickle jalapenos? And... Yeah, but I'm not getting that. All right. I'm getting like that. If you picked up a jalapeno and you just ate it, and that's the flavour I'm getting. Have you ever picked up a jalapeno and eaten it? No, but I know what it tastes like. <laughs> Delicious. Very nice. Right, right. Chinese takeaway salt and pepper. It's rich cut, so they don't say they're dirty potatoes this time, no, right? No, they're clean. I'll let you guys have a look first. There it is. <laughs> mm. Very nice flavour, isn't it? Mm. You love your salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is so good. We have salt and pepper prawns, we have salt and pepper squid, we have salt and pepper eggplant. What else do we have salt and pepper on? Everything. Everything. Chips. I love salt and pepper. <laughs> and they do have a little bit of a Chinesey flavour. I can taste five yeah. spice. You know the, uh, not five spice, is that what it is? Yeah. You know the one? I do. Because I actually use that when I make salt and pepper prawns. Yep, they've done this really well. Delicious. And once again, they're on my own. <laughs> Great value, plump and juicy milk chocolate raisins. And what company is this from? I'm assuming it's something. There's a little man there. He's telling you who he is. Hello, Timmy. Harper's Sweet Shop. That must be Mr. Harper there in the little circle. They're a little bit heat affected. I but... wouldn't say that. No? You don't have to have any. It needs to be cut. Thank you. Well, they are a little bit heat affected. How did you know that? Because I could see them. They're a little bit lumpy. <laughs> But the rest are all good. Look. It looks like a poodle. You can have right. that one. All right. Eat his head off. All right, I'll eat his head. Mm. They're good. They They're are plump nice. and juicy. Mm. Chocolate on the outside is nice, that milk chocolate. If only they were rum and raisin. Oh. No, 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 they're very yummy. That's what they look like when they're not plumped up together. Mm. Hey, Timmy, can you hide your face? Actually, they're very Moorish, aren't they? They are very plump and juicy, the raisins inside. Mm. These sort of things, the raisins get a little bit dehydrated on it, don't they? They do, they? yeah. I'd get those again. Mm. I've got a little bit of a dribble from Have them. You? They're very nice. Choose wisely. I always choose wisely. I chose you, honey. Oh, jeez. You chose poorly. Three different Lorenz snacks here. Curly's, peanut classic, they're peanut puffy things. Crunchy wows, incredible paprika and sour cream pleasure. And we have a terrifying jalapeno cream cheese inferno. Oh, I've heard the name Lorenz before. I have a feeling it might be German. Let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, it's from Germany. So let's try these Curly's first, the peanut classic snacks. 
have a look in here. Well, it's in that butterish. But it'll work. Little potato. Is it a potato puff or something? Corn puff? Mm, very, very peanutty. Quite oily, aren't they? Mmm, like peanut butter snacks. I like that. They really do taste peanutty, and it's something you wouldn't expect in crispy snacks like corn snacks. They're airy and light, but when you chew down on them, it turns to like peanut butter consistency. It's sort of thick. Mmm, because even your mouth sort of a little bit like how when it does when you have peanut butter. Mm. You probably like these because it's quite salty as well. I do like the salt level on these. They're made with freshly ground peanuts. There you go. Mm. I think they're very nice. Lorenz. My side again. Oh. Next up, we're going to have the crunchy chips. Wow, the incredible paprika and sour cream pleasure. Crunch chips. Oh, look at that. They have that paprika look to them. Who's the young lady on the back? I have no idea. What's she doing? So uh, she's having a bit of pleasure there, babe. Yeah, look how red they are. Wow! Oh, and they're interesting because they're not a really thin crinkle cut. You can actually see that ridge on it. It's quite wide. Mm -hmm. See, first up, I get the sour cream. Yeah. But then you get that paprika coming. Isn't that a paprika? Isn't that a capsicum? Yeah, that's paprika. Oh, is it? That's pepper. It's confusing, I know. I thought it was a capsicum. It is a capsicum. <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> All right, then. what do you think of these? Nah, they're yours. Well, they're always going to be mine. That wasn't the question. <laughs> I'm not a fan. What don't you like about them? The sour cream, I think. They're nice and salty. I think it is unusual to have sour cream and paprika together, but I quite like it. And now we're going to have the terrifying jalapeno and cream cheese. Oh. And it's an inferno label. That's what they look like. Mmm. <laughs> they smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they look very similar to the other chips. The ridges are quite wide. They've got little green flecks in them. Can you see that? Mm. Whoa! Mm. Yeah? Nice. There's heat in here. Mm. I can taste a little bit of the cream cheese, but the jalapeno is quite fiery, so it kind of takes it over a little bit. Has that bit of creaminess to it? Oh, they're hot. They just have the inferno to it, but it's not that bad. Can you say that? Worse. No, come on. That's have hot. another one. It's hot. That is hot. No. You're not getting that hot? Not really. No, he's wrong. Do you like them? I like them? them, yes, very much so. Wow. Thanks, Lorenz. Let's make these next. I'm just going to go and get the kettle. They're from Tetley. They're tea bags. Now, you decide what flavour you'd like. Would you like the support? Then they're super green tea or super fruits. I'll have the fruit. Okay, you have what you like, I'll have the fruit. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking I'll have the orange because you're not an orange freak. We've swapped sides. I don't think you even had to tell them, I reckon they'd work it out. <laughs> oh, see you later. Oh, they smell nice. Mm. These little round things. Little round things. Yeah, yeah, you can see the berries coming out there, that colour. Do you want me to do yours? No. Okay, we let this infuse for a little bit and do its thing. Okay. Oh, look at the beautiful colour on this one. And what benefits am I going to give me? Super fruits, multivitamin, vitamin C, E, B1, B3 and B7. Well, I get vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps maintain normal bones and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> What's that even mean? Oh, grow As opposed to the abnormal ones you've been growing. Mine looks gorgeous. Look at the colour of this fella. Nice. Super green tea and it has lemon and orange in it. I don't think yours is going to be any good. I think you might be surprised. Oh no, no. Where'd you get your water from? The toilet. I went and put some cool water in it so it wasn't so hot. But not, I used to, not, to tap yeah. in the toilet. <laughs> not the toilet itself. Oh, cheers. Yours looks nice, doesn't it? It does. It looks pretty. Very, yours looks very wee colour. Actually, yeah, this is nice. The berry flavour on it isn't too sweet because sometimes with these berry teas they can be a little bit too sweet, but I like that. I really like this too. Do you? Satisfying. I can feel my teeth turning to normal <laughs> <laughs> and my bones getting very, very strong. Well, I've got all these vitamins going on within me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got tea. So that's too sweet for me. You can keep it. It's one. nice. This one, I can taste predominantly a lot of lemon in it, a lot of zing to it. So can it's you taste of, the D? I can taste the D, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah! 
C, E, B1, B3, B7. It's it very is complicated. Isn't it is very it? complicated. I like them both, but I like the super fruits better. This would be something I would have. Tonight, I'll say to Ten just before we watch our movie, would you like a cup of tea? And she goes, Can I have a, a uh, vitamin B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, please? H. <laughs> I put a D in there as well. <laughs> Can I have the alphabet tea, please? Both good. Actually, I noticed in American shows they call it vitamin. Vitamin? Vitamin D. We call it vitamin. I can see how they could say mm. vitamin. What do they say in England? Is it vitamin? I don't know. Comment below. Vitamin or vitamin? Isn't going to read the same though. <laughs> also sent us these squizzles and they're the palmer violets but we've actually had these before he sent them last time last time they came in the roll and they were the big ones so these from swizzles original palmer violets now we have tried this so you like palmer violets i love them but you know what's really cool about this it is the cutest little packet you've ever seen what's that what the heck's that? I don't know. A dead scorpion, spider funnel web, I don't know. Are we going to try one of these? I've had it before, but open it up. It's a very cute little package. I could eat all, these all in one. Oh! Oh, yo! Oh. You remember these, don't you? It's like eating perfume. I love it. I love them. Hey, you know what's really exciting about it, though? Kids are going to knock on our door at Halloween. Oh, and you're going to give them away, are you? Oh, probably not. No. <laughs> These are chips from Ikea who make furniture. It's weird. Oh, these are from Ikea as well. They bring flavour to the party. Potato crisps with pepper and leek flavour. Oh, that might be interesting. Someone's had a leak in your chips. Best light from Ikea. Best light. So I've been going to Ikea. We don't have any Ikea near us. No, I've have never to, tried Ikea stuff. We have to drive for like an hour to get to one. we we'll have a look. Very thin potato crisp. Have a look at that. So Ikea, so it's from Sweden. They make it so firm, so I don't, hard. No, they, they made it out of pieces of furniture that people couldn't oh. put together. Who would have thought you get a big chip like that out of a little packet? You should have that one. Oh, no thanks. No you don't no like one. them? British crisps are so much better than these. These are a little bit oily tasting. Mm, they are oily. And I can't taste a little leak in there. Can you taste the cracked pepper? Mmm, just. This is made of, out of bits of furniture that people couldn't put together, you know. I think you're being silly. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of them? They're just okay. Like you said, they're very oily. And the flavour's just not quite there. I found a flaw in your tactic. I went and get some water for my tea to make it cool so I could drink it, and I lost my seat. Leading up to that, where did Tammy stash all her chips? Just down here. It's now my side. I'll put these onto Tammy's side. There you go. Two chocolates next. And this is chocolate mork. Got one of those special little things. So you probably don't say it like mork, mork and mindy mork. It's an Ikea chocolate. Chocolate not. It's not chocolate. Hazelnut. It's Ah, yeah. What gave it away? There's a big old hazelnut on the front there. Not might mean milk chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate not. But you don't say it like that. Chocolate more. It's dark chocolate. All right, so you open that one. I'll open this one. Is it a competition? You better hope not because mine's already open. <laughs> oh. oh, it looks beautiful. What's in the back of yours? Nuts. Yeah, you were right though, hey? Dark chocolate. And this one's got hazelnuts in it. Mm. Thank you. It's your two. Do you want to go this one first? Yeah. Mmm. They can keep their crisp, but this I'm keeping. Chocolate's nice. That is nice. Nice milk chocolate, beautiful little hazelnuts in it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Where's mm. the IKEA from? What country? Sweden, isn't it? Alright, let's do the dark. Mmm. Mmm. That's a nice dry, crispy dark chocolate. Mm hmm Do you like the quality of it? Mm. After furniture nice. shopping, this would be a nice reward. Oh, they probably have them in the aisle so people buy them on the way past to reward themselves as they, no, they, as they finally make it out of the shop. Mm. Yeah. Milk chocolate's yummy, hazelnuts are nice. And next we've got Ikea and they're ginger things with almonds and it's Kaparif. I think that's how you say it. Comment below is how you say it. So they're biscuits. Yeah, ginger things with almonds. You like ginger biggies. I do. You'll probably like these. Even they though, nice. oh, they're very thin. It's nicely presented. Look at that. Look at how beautiful and thin that is. That's gorgeous. That is nice. Mm. Kaffa rep is memorable moments with laughter and biscuits. Oh, 
Oh. Ginger thins with almonds. Good. Where's the almonds? I don't know. I was actually going to ask you that. There is little bits of almond in Are there. Are there? A little white patch there. Oh, no, no. Oh, little bits of almond. You don't really notice the almond so much, but that ginger, subtle, lovely ginger all the way through it. If you're really into ginger biscuits, highly recommend these. They're so yum. I think just the thinness makes it. It makes them so cool. Mm. Crispy and texture's good, flavor's good. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you. I'm going to be very sad. No, I need to... no what are you You're doing? You're getting them back. I'm going to put them in the box. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 for those. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us all these amazing treats. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below, below, <laughs> have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.